shell. It does exist. They must not be allowed to get it. Why, Nico? That could be the stuff to chain me back. Or might stop that robot. Hmm. Stay fuzzy. Save the world. Choices. Okay, fine. We'll save the world. But do it quickly before I change my mind. I may have been too hard on you boys. You do have what it takes to be heroes. But Daxter, now we can't change you back. Don't worry about me, baby. You know what they say. Big things come in small packages. Jack, you have an incredible talent for channeling Eco. Samos, you may have been right about this one after all. And Kira, without your help and ingenuity, None of this would have been possible. <laughs> Perhaps we've found another sage now that Gaul and Maya are lost. Yes, Gaul and Maya. The Dark Eco probably destroyed them. Uh, probably. Ah, who cares? Bring them on! We can take them again! Right, Jack? I said, right, Jack? Wow! Put it on ice, big guy! Holy yucca! What could that be? Wow! It's an ancient precursor door! It looks like it will only open if we fill all 100 holes with power cells! Oh boy! Here we go again! I'm afraid your Rift Rider must be used to send young Jack here to a place where he will grow up safe from harm. He must become old enough to complete the destiny he has fulfilled today. Wait a minute. It's you. I, I mean, it's me. I have to take him back and watch over him, don't I? Ah, grub roots. Talk about being in the wrong time at the right place. Hey, kid. You take care. Oh, and trust me on this. Stay away from any wumpy nest on your ninth birthday, okay? I sure hope I built this replica right. I don't know if it... It's perfect, Kira. This is the very machine we found, or will find later. What? I just built this. After seeing the first one, I mean. It's based on what I remember from before. Honey, the more you think about it, the more it hurts the head. I'll take good care of the child. And don't worry. I'll be back in time for the celebration. Farewell. Thanks, Samos. Without you... It's funny. The boy won't remember any of this. No. I do remember the light. Your transport is ready, milady. Thank you, Captain Bruder. Come on. 
We'll be late for the party at Daxter's new place. I've got so much work to do. Besides, it's not my thing. Ten Hut! As the new governor of this city, I order the commander of the new Crimson Guard to escort me to an official function. Is that understood? Yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. I mean... You can start rebuilding the city tomorrow. Tonight, we get to celebrate with our new friends. Besides, tough guy, I'm dying to see you dance. Not likely. Welcome to the Naughty Atso, the hippest, happiest, happiest joint in town. Check out the new decor. Ooh, what a big trophy. As if size matters. I bagged that bad boy myself, baby. Onan says she doesn't know who has a bigger head, him or you. We must not forget Vin and all the others who sacrificed their lives to defeat this evil and protect the child. I still can't believe that little boy was me. Better times, huh? You miss him, huh? You know, the kid grows up to be a handsome hero. Hey! That's enough for you, lady! I'm cutting you off! Trust me, she gets real mean when she's like this. What'd she say? Something about rubber tubing and certain parts of your mother. You don't want to know. Ah! A metalhead! Sig! Sig! I knew that. You're okay. You cherries didn't think some nasty breath giant-sized lizard was gonna keep me from the biggest party in town, did you? I knew you were too tough for him, big guy. You saved the city and more, my boy. Metalcore and his menace are history, and somewhere out there, an ancient race has begun again. I'm just glad to be back home. Yeah, well, rest up. We've got a lot to do, and so much time to do it in. Don't say time. The rift ring was destroyed, remember? You know, my mama used to read bedtime stories about Mar when she tucked me in. She'd give me a nice glass of warm yak cow milk, a little poopsie bear. Bedtime stories? Warm milk? Poopsie bear? Buddy, you just blew your image. I've got a feeling we'll meet Mar someday. He may be closer than you think. You're the designated driver. Oh, no. I am done with adventure. Besides, you'll tell us before something happens next time, right, Samos? Right, Samos? You never know what the future may hold. Wait. You know something, don't you, Feather Breath? Who? Me? Ah, uh, no. We're just uh, guessing. Right, Samos? Hey, tomorrow, only time will tell. No, you're gonna tell right now! Why <laughs> you? Why you? Why you? Watch your Don't touch it. Jack, my boy! A future awaits. reason to fight on. My life's work, it turns out, was spent searching for a bunch of furballs. Onan says it is a great day for the universe. Jack, you are the greatest of heroes. You have turned the tide against the Dark Makers, and together we will win this war. But dude, there are like way more challenges in the future. Ha! <laughs> uh, or was it the past? Yes, yes, I was getting to that. More adventures? Where have I heard that before? We need heroes like you to help us protect the universe, Jack. Then you can call me by my first name, by what my father called me, Mar. Wait, Jack is Mar? The Mar? Come then, Mar. No time like the present. You coming, Dax? Eh, I got all I need right here, baby. But if you need me, and I know you will, eh, you know where to find me. Oh, Daxter. My little hero! We owe you much, Daxter, for all you've done. 
For your bravery in the face of incredible danger, we shall grant you your deepest desire. You know, I could really use a snazzy pair of pants, like yours. Wow, those are sharp. I wish I had a pair just like that. Be careful what you wish for. Don't worry, honey. You get used to it. Oh, and you may want to shave some parts. Trust me on that. Hey, thanks for everything, partner. You are a great hero, Daxter. This is gonna be good. They think I'm a god. And they're right. Our hero. <sighs> This is going to be a long trip. Where do you think you're going, little bugger? I've decided I want my own sidekick, and you've been nominated. We're gonna be a great team. Just don't make me angry. Are you ready, Jack? We have something to show you. What? The universe. I couldn't leave you, Dax. With all our adventures ahead, you wouldn't last a second without me. Ah, what a team we are! Yeah, well, the next adventure, I call the shots. Put it in, partner. Ha! Psych! Oh, yeah. Life is good. Are you still talking? Rain! She'll become even worse than me. Right. Like how you killed your old father? And why not? He left us for his sick love of racing. And when he did, we vowed to own the whole damn sport. All of it! Every last part. You have a habit of leaving people to die, don't you? You get used to it. And just then, I pushed Jack to safety as the car exploded in a fiery inferno! Wow. Great story, Dax. Great racing, everyone. Wonderful driving! Thanks. I was talking to my daughter. Well, everyone, I must be on my way. Thank you all for helping me take out my father's enemies. This town will be a better place for it. And thank you, Jack, for showing me the light. Take care. Be better than your father. You know, that old girl ain't so bad. Hey, she forgot Crew's diary. No reindeer, so it's our little chicken, eh? Just pour it into your glass first. Three seconds and no more. And yours will have no poison. The rest will get a full dose. <laughs> then we'll take down that miserable measle and be the top crime family in Class City. I only wish I could be there to give you a big hug. Like father, like daughter, eh? Oh my god. Call a meeting. I want every crime boss present. That's right. I'm running this town now. Father was too soft. No, don't eliminate the racers. They were my friends. Although probably not any longer. Ah, well, it's just business. Who would have thunk? Well, if you'd all been thinking with your heads. Yeah, Jack. The important thing is we won. And we're alive. And we brought down that scumbag Measle. And we rocked the racing circuit, right, Jack? I said, right, Jack? Hey! Will you kiss her already? Sheesh. Oh, yeah. That's what I call a photo finish. Bring it on, butt breath. I just stopped you, didn't I? What happens? My master will be waiting for you and Jack outside. Outside where? It's already written. The city will be ours. Whoa! Gnarly! 
excellent work, dude! That's right. Heroes always find a way to get it done, no matter what the hardship. Yeah! Well, the map here says this door was open all the time. You could have just walked in. <laughs> oh, and you left behind your sidekick strats. I knew that. Now I must be off for my date with destiny. Fare thee well, my fine fan. Parting is such sweet... <laughs> oh, now that is a heroic exit. And that's how I saved Jack. and the core is channeling energy. Soon, eco-vents around the world will start flowing again. If only Phoenix could have seen this. He was a good man. He certainly was. Phoenix sacrificed himself for us all. My readings show a huge reduction in storm and quake activity in all directions. And the instability is dropping fast. Whoa! Kira! You just channeled eco-energy! You may be turning into an eco-sage, my girl. Big deal. When I get really riled up, I can turn into a massive 15-foot monster. <laughs> it's more like eight feet, but uh, I like your short and orange, pal. And so do the ladies. Castaway, what is your name? People called me Tim. Well, Tim and I have been decoding these symbols at the core. That circle inside our planet was attached to other energy lines. And a big one points out over the brink. Which means... We've got some exploring to do. Who knows what we'll find out there. I say we go partake of the love and gratitude right here. Out over the brink, huh? Could be a grand adventure. If I can find a partner willing to keep up. Well, since we're already way out here... I wasn't really planning on taking a vacation. Say, you guys wouldn't be planning something without me, right? Next time, I want to vote! Oh, sure, Dax. All in favor of going on a new adventure, raise your hand. Two to one. Done. You lose. Whoa! Whoa! You're lucky I didn't go monster on you just then. That really got me upset. Okay, fine. We'll go on another adventure. But this time, I'm bringing a barf bag and some magazines. And maybe that sexy pirate chick. Oh, and a seat cushion. It hurts my tail to sit that long. And a few more snacks. Hence the barf bag, and a high tensile grooming comb for my luscious dark monster fur. And don't let me forget my poogie precursor bear. Can't sleep without it. And a boatload of gas pills. Oh, you guys won't be able to sleep if I don't have those. <laughs> ah, yes, I almost forgot. I'm bringing that cool precursor game system Tim built for me, and the racing game Jack X. And my whisker trimmer. Hey, you got any grubby gum? It helps pop the ears when we're landing. 